watching Dr. Kildare and Marcus Welby on television growing up. They were really nice people that did good things and everybody thought they were great. Usually patients just want reassurance that they're going to be okay and um, luckily most of them do very well. So at the time of consultation, we go through the typical history and physical exam and I explain to them about their cancer. Um, I do explain to them why we need to do radiation therapy. The simulation process is the first step that they will actually go through, which is just a simple CAT scan in a certain position. We use different devices to help people, people be in the same position every time they come in with the radiation. And then their CAT scan goes through a planning process of dosimetrists and physicists and checkers and double checkers, and then they finally let me check the plans. Um, but it takes a full week to process that plan. So I explain that process to the patient so that they understand why they have to wait so long before they can get started with the radiation. And then as they go through the treatment, I see them weekly just to see how the treatments are going for them and to let them know what to anticipate over the next week. Make sure that they are doing all the preventative measures that we ask them to do. We have a, a dietitian that meets with them and um, helps them out with things that we believe are very helpful to promoting healing during the treatment. Um, and we also, for breast patients, we use different skin salves to help them because the skin can get quite irritated from the radiation treatments. Well, I think having gone through the experience of it is something that you don't perfectly understand or appreciate until you go through it yourself. Since it's been nine years since my cancer diagnosis, and I had a fairly bad cancer, that it can be a little bit reassuring to patients to know that nine years later, I'm still here and doing fine. So, um, you know, I, I went through major surgery, dose-dense chemotherapy, they, they threw everything at me. And then I had radiation therapy, and then I had reconstruction done. So I went through all the phases that any woman, you know, would go through with the breast cancer experience. So, um, you know, we kind of commiserate. <laughs> it's almost like, you know, the old guys talking about all their war stories, you know, it, it's something that we kind of compare. And the same thing that goes on with the support group. We have a Hope Blooms support group for breast cancer patients. And people will relate their experiences. And, and for some reason, it just, makes people feel better if they know other people have gone through it as well.